As the Cardinals gear up for another season, so are many student athletes as they prepare to return to school. Athletic trainers from across the valley gathered today with one goal in mind that's helping keep those student athletes safe. Team 12's Adam Bagney was there. So basically, the start of a new school year also means prepping for student athletes. That's exactly what local athletic trainers were doing today in Chandler, part of a workshop hosted by local physicians, educators, and paramedics. When you're dealing with a very critical issue, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. If any misstep or miscommunication happens, it can really be a dire situation. The event brought together trainers from throughout the valley, with EMTs, coaches, and even student trainers discussing best practices for assessment, treatment, and communication. Rescuers say it's important when they show up that everyone's on the same page. All that information that we get from the athletic trainers is, is huge when we make our decisions on how we're going to treat them and also the treatments that they can do before we even get there. A particular area of focus was how to treat a player suffering from a spinal or head injury, areas of increased concern in recent years. They're on coaches' minds, they're on our minds, they're on the athletic trainers' minds. We're all worried about these injuries because of the potential of lifelong implications. Of course, with Phoenix, heat is always a concern, with experts warning parents and athletes that drinking at game time just isn't enough. You have to start hydrating early, like days before. Drinking a bottle of water before the game is not hydration. And organizers also emphasize that many often don't realize how highly trained trainers are and that they need the trust of parents, coaches, and EMTs alike. One thing I didn't know when I started helping with this program a few years ago is that these athletic trainers at, at, at the high schools and junior highs are really, really highly educated. Your kids are in really, really good hands. In Chandler, Adam Bagney, 12 News. Adam, thanks. And those safety precautions, they are especially important when it's this hot out. Earlier this week, two football players at Perry High School suffered heat-related emergencies during workouts. Both of them, luckily, are now okay.